Hey guys, this is Paul with VHSCollector.com once again, and I'm finally going to do a VHS update. It's been a long time since I've done an update, and that's probably because I haven't bought a lot of movies lately. I mean, since my last update. I mean, the past two weeks I have been buying movies, but before that, since my previous update, I really haven't been buying anything. I've been so preoccupied with other things, like, like the website and everything, so I really didn't have the time to really hunt these things down, but I do have a bunch now that I want to show. Got some really cool ones. Uh, one of them you've already seen. This one's on top because I just reviewed it. Gourmet Zombie Chef from Hell. I got this for 30 bucks. I love this cover, right? It's the original big box, not that uh, very easy to find slipcase. I just, I just love this cover. Not going to really spend much time on that one because I already did a review of that one, so go check that one out. Um, this I got a few weeks before it was released. This is that basement thing. Um, I got this over the summer. Um, it's got some great movies in there, but I hate the I hate the packaging. It's not actually like a big box. So I hate when people refer to this as a big box because I don't know, it's not. It won't fit on your shelf with your other ones because it's it's a lot wider. Um, I, I pretty much assume, you know, or figure out why they had made it bigger. It's because it's a standard packaging size for software packaging. Um, a lot of companies, they don't use this as a standard uh, box size anymore. They don't, so their machines aren't tooled for this size, but they are tooled for these larger sizes. So it was a lot easier, or cheaper, I should say, for Camp Motion Pictures to get it in this large, ugly box. Um, not impressed at all, but also, I have a few problems with this, and so maybe I'll do a separate video on it, but at least for the copy I have, the discs aren't labeled with the movie, so you don't know which movie's on which disc, and the VHS cassette is an EP mode, or at least it feels like it. It's very light and it's in terrible quality. I think there's a, that release was a little overhyped because it's, I don't know, I think it could have been packaged a little bit better, but it does have some great flicks on there that you should check out. Even if you don't like the packaging or the VHS or whatever, definitely check out the movies because the movies are fun as always. Um, also, I got this, and this is a thriller big box I've wanted for the longest time, and it is Seven Doors of Death. Got this for, I think, like 20 about 25 bucks slightly faded but I'm really happy with it I don't do uh, faded videos but this one isn't really bad considering the price I got it at I'm really happy with it um, this is probably I think probably the most wanted ones is make them die slowly and this one seven doors of death which I believe is the beyond um, nothing on the back really except that zombie face that's on the cover so, definitely happy to have that. I've been wanting that one for a long time. The artwork is very notorious. In fact, they sell t-shirts with that artwork on it. Here we have Air Video. And it is Straight Jacket Big Box. Found this pretty easily online on Amazon. It wasn't too difficult to find. I paid about 25 30 bucks for this. Uh, looks really neat. These Air Videos are sometimes tough to come by, but I found this one relatively easy. It's just right there. It's a big box and everything. I don't know why someone else didn't pick it up. Looks pretty neat, right? All the front covers that I've seen for this movie seem slightly faded compared to the red blood on the spine. I don't know. Maybe that's just a coincidence. but um, Or maybe they were printed that way. I don't know. But no images from the movie. The back is just blood dripping. You know, pretty neat, right? Air video. It's pretty cool. And here I have a wizard big box that is a non-horror wizard big box. I'm really close to having all the wizard big boxes. I think I only need maybe like 10 of them or something. And um, like I said, it's not a horror movie. It's Student Union. A well, little tough to find. This one doesn't pop up too often. I think I got this one for 25 bucks. Um, it's hard to get movies for 5 bucks these days like I used to. But I'm still willing to pay 20 bucks, especially if a movie goes for more on eBay. So I think this is a good price, 25 bucks for this one, not too bad. It will help complete my uh, Wizard Big Box collection. The artwork's kind of weird because it's partially, you know, Jorn artwork or painted artwork. And it's partially like actual photographic images. These are actually people and these are actually trees in the background. Um, it's kind of like a weird hacked up photo Photoshop job on the box. Um, sometimes the non-horror uh, big boxes by Wizard are difficult to find. Here we have uh, a Thriller Evira tape, which is sometimes very difficult to get. 
and you go for a lot of money. And it's Alabama's Ghost. This is like in really good condition. Uh, it's a beta, unfortunately. I don't know if that's why I got it cheap, but um, the betas come in the same exact box as the VHS tape, so I can always buy a cup box for like five or ten bucks and then put that in here if I really wasn't happy with the beta tape. Just peel the sticker off and it's just like any other VHS big box by uh, a, a thriller of Lyra release, I was trying to say. So, let's see what else we've got here. Here's that that 555 DVD big box. I bought this thinking I was going to get like a VHS DVD combo release. Because if you notice, it says video cassette and VHS all over the box, but... I guess I should have read the product description closer because it's just the DVD and a few trinkets. I probably paid too much money for this, but it's definitely a collectible. You know, it's really cool to have in your collection, and the artwork's awesome. You know, look at that. This is this is the release that 555 should have gotten initially when it came out. Looks really neat. And here we have another air video, Blood of Dracula's Castle. Look at this one. Love that artwork. It's very worn in this box. I paid thirty bucks for this and it's not worth it's probably not worth thirty bucks considering the condition it's in. It is incredibly worn. Um and there's a big like gouge in the front of the box from where they peel the sticker off. Just uh, just leave the stickers on there guys. It's not gonna kill you. If you gotta put this much damage to a box to get the sticker off, just leave it there. <laughs> I'd rather see the sticker there than having a big gash on the cover, honestly. But, um, all these air videos are really cool to have. Just the artwork is really big. And pretty cool. Alright, let's see what else we got. Alright, so I got another wizard big box, and this time it is Penitentiary. And, uh, this is the black logo one. So the initial releases had the white logo. I didn't even know this one had a black logo re-release. Re I'm always learning new stuff about these wizard videos. I have a pretty comprehensive checklist of all these wizard movies. I'm always finding new stuff, new wizard alternate covers or something from wizards, so it's always interesting collecting those. Here we have Escape. This one is really tough to find just because the title is so generic. Um, I had bid on this on eBay and I think I paid like 40 bucks. A lot more than I wanted to pay, but I really needed it for my wizard big box collection. I only need a few more, but I was willing to pay because I've had so much trouble finding this one. It's a cool cover, right? Escape. Alright, got a few more. Let's see what I got here. Alright, I also got some slipcases, but before that, let's finish off these big boxes. We've got... Cannibal Island. I don't think this is very rare, but uh, it's cool to have. It's by the distributor called VCR. Very original name for a distributor for a VHS tape. Um, from what I believe, it's kind of like a uh, documentary sort of thing. Um, our work is kind of cheesy. Actually, got some boobs on the cover right here. So make of it as you will. Cannibal Island. I think it's a black and white documentary and that's why you got no images on the box. You don't want people to know it's black and white. Another tough um, Elvira big box to get. Thriller big box and it is Attack of the Swamp Creatures. And of course this is beta. Like I said, I maybe it was just easier for me to get the betas but I've wanted to complete these Elvira tapes forever. I only need a few more. Like two or three. Um, but I'm almost done. Color's very vibrant on this box. Looks really good, right? Attack the Swamp Creatures. Not sure why this one is so difficult to come by. Maybe it's just a video everyone wants. Because from my experience with these videos, it's usually the last three or four that are incredibly rare to get. Here I paid 25 or 30 bucks for this one. Way too much money considering how faded and torn up it is. House of the Dead. It would be a really cool box if it wasn't faded. I requested a partial refund or to return it for a full refund because it's just not worth 30 bucks. 
and I did get a partial refund back, but I probably won't hold on to this at all. I, I can't, I can't deal with the friggin' faded artwork, so... If anyone's interested in doing a trade for another big box or something, just let me know. I just, I, I can't, I can't look at faded boxes. It just, it'll always be like a thorn in my VHS clutch, and I just, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Honestly. I'm very, I'm perfectionist when it comes to that stuff. Here I have some slip cases now. For the longest time, I've been trying to get that thriller big box of twi of uh, Tales from the Dark Side Volume Two. I have one and three, and I took a chance, and what I ended up getting is this: a slip case of it. <laughs> I wanted the big box of it, but I didn't even know there was a slip case release of this. This isn't necessarily what I wanted, but I paid like four bucks or something, so I guess I'm not going to argue. Um, at least it's the. Uh, the thriller release, although it doesn't say Thriller on this at all, actually, but IV, uh, IVE owns Thriller. Actually, it says Thriller right on the tape label there, look at that. But they had removed it from the box, there's no trace of Thriller on the box anywhere. So, I guess technically it might be a Thriller release of it. The artwork is really cool, with that Gypsy Tarot card reader, that looks really neat. And, got a few more. We got Mardi Gras Massacre slipcase. I got this for a great deal. It's the only reason I bought it. I'm, I wasn't shopping for a slipcase of this. I have the big box, but maybe I'll sell it and treat it. I don't know. Let's see how I feel about it. I only got it for 15 bucks, And it's from Scarecrow Video, as you can see from the uh, metallic label or sticker right on the cover. So yeah, I bought this from... Scarecrow Video. Alright, so... And I got one other from Scarecrow Video. Oh, that was the Camel Island one. I also got that one from Scarecrow Video. And last but not least, we've got the Fifth Floor. Um, my girlfriend loves movies that take place in uh, mental asylums, so... I've been on the hunt for this one for a while, at least for a decent price. It usually sells for about 15, 20 bucks. I've seen a faded cut. I was holding out until I found one in decent shape for ten dollars or less, and I got it for ten bucks. And this is it. Looking forward to actually watching this one. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um. So yeah, check out VHSCollector.com. Submit your scans. Um, look at my check out my recent videos. I did a video on Gourmet Zombie Chef from Hell. So if you're interested in that cover that you've just seen earlier um, check out the review also let's see what else there is I also have that contest going on I um, also made a video for that so check that out as well and put in a video response I haven't been getting many of them but if you're interested do it I'm probably gonna put up some VHS tapes as a contest so keep a lookout this has been Paul with VHSCollector.com see you guys later